This is Dr. Ken Starr with the Wellness Group in Arroyo Grande. I wanted to give our viewers some updates that I learned with the recent conference we had last weekend. The American Society of Ketamine Physicians had its annual conference in Denver, and I learned a lot. I wanted to share that information with you. Things that are gonna change our practice and that you should know about when you're looking for ketamine treatment program. Number one, you can't do one or two treatments. When you try ketamine for a mental health issue like treatment resistant depression, anxiety, PTSD, all treatments that respond well to ketamine, it's a series of infusions. It's a series of benefits that are, that are incrementally noticeable. So a minimum treatment commitment is gonna be six treatments, even eight. Some programs will do eight. The reason this is important is because we know now that only about 30% of people are gonna respond with that first one or two treatments. Oftentimes over that second and third treatment, people get worse and then people start to improve. So by the, say by the sixth treatment, 70 to 80% of people are significantly improved. So again, when you're starting a ketamine treatment program for mental health, know that you need to commit to about six treatments. You'll do those incrementally over about a two to three week period. So typically these infusions are two to three a week. You don't want more than four days between treatments. So our standard program is two infusions for, the, for three weeks, okay? For an initial induction series of six infusions. The other important point is that the doses now we know should be incrementally increasing. So every time you go back for your second, third, fourth visits, you should be receiving a higher dose and you should be having a very brisk response to that, a really noticeable response. Now you never want to be unconscious and unresponsive, that's too high of a dose, but ketamine clinics always use subdissociative dosing, but you might get a little dissociated and there's definitely benefit noted in that. So my point is, if you're doing your six infusions, you should get a higher dose every time. This is the new standard now. For pain disorders, another reason we do ketamine for chronic pain, oftentimes from Lyme, fibromyalgia, or regional pain syndromes, or complex re uh, reflex sympathetic dystrophy, these pain conditions respond very well to ketamine, okay? But it has to be dosed high enough and it has to be dosed long enough, okay? So some centers might be doing a two hour infusion, some centers might be doing a four hour infusion. I think it's fine to start with two, but know that the longer the infusion treatment, generally the better the response and the longer lasting the response. Lastly, a common question is, well, if I do the six infusions for depression, when do I need to come back? The ketamine effects do wear off. Typically patients within one or two months will need a booster. Sometimes people can go longer, but I would say do the six infusions, see what kind of response you're getting and how long it lasts. If um, if you're then doing a, a booster every two or three months and it's helping you, it's worth it. Overall, this is a safe treatment. It's very effective. It has less side effects and risks than oral antidepressants. And it's really kind of blossoming as a standard of care for treatment resistant depression. And it's also been proven to be more helpful than ECT or TMS, other treatments that are used for treatment resistant depression. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to our channel. Please leave comments below and um, check out our other videos. Thanks so much.